Building planning is simply the background knowledge required for an architect or an engineer to create a good plan. It is also referred as building designing in so many countries. In the process of building planning, you divide an area of site into different rooms. Now, we need different rooms in a building so that we can perform different activities in it. Hence, each room should be so designed that it serves the purpose for different activities. For example, if uh, you are planning to add a garage, then the space that you allocate for a garage should be enough to perform all the activities of repairing and storing the equipments and tools that are required. Apart from that, as an engineer or an architect, it's your responsibility to provide natural features like sanitation, privacy, safety, and aesthetically good appearance for a building. However, building planning greatly depends on the shape and size of the site. If the site is small, it may be necessary to go for a duplex. And if the size of the site is large enough, you can go for a single storied detached house. The process of planning is greatly influenced by the type of building that the owner wants to build. It may be residential, commercial, or industrial. Moreover, it is very important for you to gain local experience because as a planner, you need to design the building based on the climatic conditions. The best way to communicate your ideas while planning is to put them on a piece of paper by drawing instead of writing. This drawing is referred as a plan and there are certain rules and regulations to be followed while drawing a plan. All the information about drawing a plan can be grouped as some other subject called building drawing. We will deal with that subject later because you need to first learn about building planning, which provides enough knowledge about the rules and requirements of a building. And once you understand those requirements, then you can go further to learn building drawing, which helps you to share your ideas with other professionals and clients.